Here we have for sale a an older uh, Honer pre poker work button accordion in the keys of C and F. Uh, it's my number 218, so it's been in inventory for a number of years. I finally got around to uh, restoring it. Uh, it's had extensive restoration. Um, what? It has uh, been repadded on the treble side, so it's quieter and better seal. Uh, the it has the right out of the factory a metal uh, plate on the keyboard, uh, which uh, was rusty. So I painted that, and the grill was also rusty. So I've sort of matching silver paint on those new grill cloth. Uh, but because it's the has a removable uh, top, uh, it has uh, button limiting, which is an issue with uh, many honers. So these button stop uh, close to flush on the keyboard. What else? Internally, the uh, reed blocks, of course, I've removed all of the reed plates, uh, cleaned, uh, revalved. Uh, they were re revalved by uh, someone else earlier before I'd gotten this. Uh, but they look fine. I replaced one or two that seem to uh, need it. Th these are the modern, uh, these are plastic valves, not the leather. Already has uh, strap brackets installed. Uh, I did add a anti-resonance crossbar between the two treble uh, reed blocks. What else? I have uh, put new felts under these uh, button tops uh, here. I think I have a picture of that. Uh, anything else? New strap brackets, and it doesn't have a, the thumb loop has been removed. Yeah. It's a player's box. Uh, it's got, you know, bumps and bruises and uh, scrapes, scratches, uh, but it's a, a nice German-made uh, example. Uh, new grill cloth front and rear. Uh, of a pre-poker work honer. Uh, very rich sound. A couple other things uh, that were done to this. Uh, were uh, the soundboard, or it's not really a soundboard, but the uh, interface where the uh, the fondo, where the reed plates sit, actually had a little bit of a uh, curve to it, which meant, of course, the reed blocks don't sit, sit flat. <coughs> so uh, there's a little air can get go between uh, you push one button you're actually getting three notes because uh, the uh, air is going sideways inside the box so uh, my solution for that which has worked out great is I took it all apart put it on up my milling machine and m milled that and it wasn't didn't take very much but milled it so it was completely flat but of course now it's a little bit lower than it was so I used my laser cutter cut a nice uh, closed cell foam uh, interface with 42 uh, holes in it and that fit right down into that newly milled flat surface so now it brought that the uh, uh, the plane of that surface back up to where it would interface with the reed blocks without modifying them uh, so that worked out quite well I've got pictures of that um, other things uh, well it does have the grill cloth uh, the front and rear new uh, felt rings under the buttons. Uh, and this is a, be, besides the metal cover, which they only use very briefly, the the corners are not brass and they're also not steel. I think they're zinc or some. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, it's just something that Honer was trying out at the time. Um, uh, it does have new uh, bellows gaskets, although it, it was such a thin space that, I, uh, that it has leather instead of uh, of the uh, 
say, uh, closed cell foam. It was almost too thick, so I went with the leather, uh, but still a lot better than the original string <laughs> gasket that I want to use on these. Uh, I might be duplicating some things, but let me play uh, <coughs> a tune or two. Shout out to John Peluso for providing this fantastic P84 condenser mic. Website, his website is it. Uh, so, uh, tremolo frequency of 2 hertz on the low notes up to about 5 hertz on the high ones. with the steel reeds. I love the sound of these. Fine old Honer pre poker work button accordion player's edition. It's, it's not pretty, it's got a lot of you know life marks on it. Looking for a new owner. <laughs> 